Okay, this is going to be part of the, my haunted classroom uh, videos where I'm just trying to express what I've learned um, in the course of the last two years going through this haunting um, to help other people who are going through the same thing and may not have any answers. Um, that's what my whole channel is for. My whole channel is to document and learn because this is a vastly under-investigated field. Um, you got a lot of hoaxers out there, a lot of pranksters out there, especially on YouTube. And uh, so I'm trying to steer people away from those without actually mentioning who they are uh, because I don't like blowing out anybody else's flame. Um, it's not my style. Um, I'll let you find out who they are on your own. But it's pretty obvious that uh, every time they go to a location, it turns out to be the most haunted place on the planet. Um, and it's just stuff that just doesn't happen during a real haunting. But that being as it, as it is, um, I want to try to dispel some rumors, try to uh, authenticate other rumors, um, misbeliefs uh, that, are, that are involved in these situations. One of the things that you'll hear people talk about if you uh, studied hauntings or watched haunting documentaries, um, something besides the phantom noises, the disembodied voices, um, the apparitions, the shadow people, uh, that kind of stuff is smells. People will say, I smelled something familiar. Uh, for me, uh, it was my grandmother's perfume. And the reason that I knew immediately is my grandmother's perfume is because I couldn't stand that perfume. I love my grandmother to death, um, but she wore this cheap pharmacy uh, ladies' perfume that she bought by the gallon, and it was just horrid. Uh, it's a smell that's burned into my memory, and so when I smelled it, I immediately identified it as my grandmother's perfume. Um, I don't believe those are coincidence. I don't think that many of those are mistaken, uh, that people think they smell something familiar, but they don't. I don't believe that's the case. I believe that you smell it for a reason. I think it's done deliberately uh, by our past loved ones, our lost loved ones, uh, so that maybe they don't have the energy to appear to you. Maybe they don't have the energy to talk to you. But if they can uh, replicate that sense that uh, will identify them in just as well a, ma a manner as sight or sound, uh, I think they would do it, and I think they do do it. So, <clears throat> but we need to be ready to try to debunk some of those. You always want to try to debunk your own evidence, if you can. If you can explain it logically, then by all means explain it. Don't let people think that there's something going on around you when you know damn good and well that that's not true. Um, you figured out what it is, then you need to tell people what it is. Um, I do that as soon as I find out that I'm wrong, I'll tell you I'm wrong. Um, I was getting in the shower, and I took my shower, and because a lot of things happened in my bathroom, uh, I was expecting something, either something to be thrown at me or hear a voice or whatever. Well, I stepped out of the shower, and I smelled... It smelled like chocolate chip cookies, you know, or cinnamon or pumpkin spice. Um, and so I immediately jumped to the conclusion that it was, there was something, an entity in my bathroom uh, who was letting me know, hey, it's the, coming up on the Christmas season, and we know it is. Here's something to make you feel nostalgic, something that you remember that you love about Christmas, and release that. Uh, into the uh, environment and I thought that was so cool and then as I was thinking that I looked down and I have a Glade plug-in plugged into the wall and I was thinking oh, please don't tell me it's that simple and I leaned forward and I smelled it and that's what it was it was the Glade plug-in uh, so you can't always jump to conclusions you can't always be quick to, to judge uh, you know, look it out, sense it, uh, uh, investigate it, and follow it to a logical conclusion, if at all you can. I'll talk to you later.